Hey, you all, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Infinite Lock. It's your boy, Erica. Today, we've got another Zero Base One reaction. We have the Good So Bad MV, um, Zero Base One, a group that I see a lot of promise in. I liked um, my last reaction to them that I had. Um, I ended up downloading that, um, that the song that they had. In Bloom, um, I definitely um, really enjoyed that song, and I still have it downloaded in my music um, and listen to it. Um, so I'm excited to see what this is going to be, if they're going to keep that sound. or I feel like that debut sound was just to kind of push the gates open, and they're going to start moving around from there. It's always interesting to see what these boy groups do, particularly if they get, try to keep a certain aesthetic or if they move around. I feel like a lot of groups try to stay on a specific track. Um, you know, that track that like, you know, ATs and Stray Kids and stuff like that have tried to have made popular, um, you know what I mean? TXT, that kind of like um, that boy next door vibe, but in their own ways. So let's see how Zero Base One um, continues to round out what they're doing in their early stages. Before we get into the video, make sure you all like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. Got a lot of stuff coming your way. And uh, yeah, Zero Base One with the good, so bad MV. <laughs> 깊어질 뿐이다. 그런 도와 그녀를. When you hear the rhythm, start to make me feel. I will say I do feel like a lot, a lot of the boy group videos are starting to look very similar. Um, you know, that's just one thing I'm going to say. I feel like over the last year or so, a lot of the new boy groups, um, I feel like definitely like after that third gen boy group thing, I feel like a lot of the boy groups started looking very similar in terms of like aesthetic. That's the one thing I will say about some of this. He an actor? Where do I know him from? I think he's an actor. I love the styling right there. (laughs) 
So that was zero base one with the good, so bad envy. Um, for me, there. Let me let me figure out how to explain this. I think that there was it was something missing for it to take it to that that point right here. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a melody that that I wasn't really feeling or like I didn't really. I don't know what it. I don't know what it was, but it had so much potential for me, but it just never reached over a certain point for me. Not saying that it was bad by any means. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like I, it had really a lot of potential early on. That's why I was kind of so quiet and just concentrating because I was waiting for it to go past that threshold of like man this is a bop like it was just something that was it was groovy it was cool about it but like i said earlier it just seems like something i may have heard before like a lot of i've been reacting maybe it's just because i've been reacting to a lot of newer boy groups in the last couple of days and so a lot of the aesthetics and the sounds have been in the same vibe. like it's been nothing that really stand out ish i think um, and I think also with how good In Bloom was for me with them, and that was my only other experience reacting to them, that this didn't stand out as much as In Bloom did. Again, not saying that it was bad, not taking away from this, but I think that they were so like, In Bloom was like, boom, like in my face. Like I had no choice but to like instant playlist. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this didn't really hit like that for me. Um, but I need to see a live stage. I need to see a rag. You know, we, we, we all seen in the past that stuff has grown on me as time has gone on. But just initial reaction, if I'm being honest, it didn't really blow me away. Um, but again, I, zero base one right now, you know, they, they're one of those groups that I'm, I'm very interested in continuing to see what they do um, and learning more about the members themselves. That's another thing that I try to do to kind of give me more rapport with the group is learn more about the members off stage because sometimes that adds to the experience as well. And they're one of those groups that I have not really gotten to know the members off stage like I should have. So I'm going to definitely jump into that. So yeah, like I said, I'll continue to see what they got coming for us in the near future. Um, and listen to more of their stuff that they have. We'll go see if they have other releases as well. So before y'all go, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. Got a lot of stuff coming your way. And uh, yeah, until next time.